Hello, dear students, myself Yuna Poigil. I am here to discuss the topic 5.5 of the chapter Magnetism and Matter. And in that topic, we are just underlying few terms which we require for identifying materials like dia, para, ferro and all. So we have enough magnetic materials and magnets all around us. Even earth itself is a magnet that we have discussed in the last session. So here we are going to familiarize mainly two terms like one is known as magnetization represented by M bar. It is a vector quantity, so M bar. And magnetic intensity H bar. We know electric field intensity. Similarly, we have a term known as magnetic field intensity. Not field, magnetic intensity. Clear? So let us go to the detail. Now we have a recap of the last lesson. Lesson 4. We are taking a simple topic from that lesson. One, this thing. The other one is solenoid. These two we have studied in lesson 4. The videos are there, you can watch. And this is lesson 4, where you discuss that an electron, which is revolving around the nucleus, in a particular orbit of radius r, behaves as a current loop. The word is current loop. So if electron is going in this clockwise manner, we know that the direction of conventional current is opposite to the flow of electrons. So, if electrons are moving in clockwise direction, conventional current for sure will be in the anti-clockwise direction and it is capable of making a magnetic dipole moment whose value is I A bar. Okay, this we need, this is a previous knowledge we require for this lesson. One knowledge. Other one I will come later. So, this is the word. Hope it is clear. You can recap the points. Now, coming to our lesson, math is or our topic, magnetization M bar is the net magnetic moment per unit volume. I will go to the detail. Now, suppose we have a matter particle. You know matter is composed of atoms. Atoms made up of protons, neutrons, electrons and so on. Here the nucleon fell inside, bound inside the nucleus. Electrons free to move outside the nucleus in particular orbits. So that creates a magnetic moment. So if you take the matter as a whole, individual magnetic moments are in random direction. Each magnetic moment will be having its own direction. So if you sum up the M net value, that is known as M bar net. If you take the sum of all these magnetic moments, M bar net goes to zero. When M bar net goes to zero, what will happen? M bar goes to zero. So in usual case, the net magnetization will be zero. Okay. And then we place the same material which is which you are going to subject means the nature of the material is very important. Only certain materials you can change from normal material to a magnet. So a material which is liable to magnetization. Such kind of material you have to take and such a material you are placing in a uniform electric field. Uniform electric field means what? Equally spaced, straight line parallel to each other. It's known as uniform electric field. Representation of uniform electric field. Sorry, not electric field. Sorry, this is magnetic field. So, sorry, magnetic field. So, sorry, magnetic field. So, you are placing in uniform magnetic field. In that particular magnetic field, we are placing this material which is subjected to magnetization or this material we want to convert it into a magnet. At the time, like troops marching, this will go in a streamlined manner. Means, they move in a particular direction, same as that of the magnetic field. 
and they align in the same direction so that m comes not equal to 0 or there will be an m bar net. There will be an m bar net. So m bar goes not 0 or this material comes to be a magnet. So this was a normal material. Once it is subjected to this kind of magnetic field, it becomes a magnet. This process is known as, the process is known as magnetization M bar. Clear? Now coming to the second area, magnetizing in magnetic intensity or magnetizing field, we need this previous knowledge. What was the previous knowledge? If you have a solenoid and current I is passing through the solenoid, the magnetic field is produced when inside the solenoid and outside you don't have a magnetic field. The value of magnetic field when inside or air core to solenoid, nothing inside, only air. So you will write it as B bar naught or B bar zero or B zero bar equal to mu zero times n into i. What is n? n in the sense if you have total suppose 10 turns, 10 turns and the solenoid of length 10 centimeters or meters whatever it is. So you will have 10 upon 10. It's a number. Simply a number. So what is n? Number of turns divided by total length. That ratio is n. It's a number I told you into i. Mu zero is again a constant. So very clear. B is zero bar is proportional to I itself. Okay. And also N is a factor provided N is a constant. Okay. Now we are going to do a material which is liable to magnetization. We are placing well inside the solenoid. Here the core is air. But here we are placing a magnetic material which is which you can magnetize. So place such a material. At the time the total magnetic field is found to be. Already the B0 bar is there. Plus B M bar. A new term B M bar. Or the magnetization results in a new magnetic field B bar. Underline the magnetization results in a new magnetic field B bar. So, you can rewrite this equation as B0, you know, mu0 ni. Bm is defined as mu0 m bar. Mu0, you know, m bar, you know. So, Bm bar is equal to mu0 m bar. That's I told you. This magnetic field generated due to magnetization. So, this you can take mu0 outside. You will have ni plus m bar. This Ni is again H bar. A new term H bar. H bar is the magnetizing field. The word is magnetizing. Magnetizing means the cause factor for magnetization. Who made it a magnet? That was a normal material. This normal material was converted to magnetic material by the process of magnetization and somebody is there behind it. Who is that somebody? That somebody is simply the current through the solenoid and it's very clear H bar equal to N i. So for sure H bar depends on N and i obviously. Clear? So that is a magnetizing field or magnetic intensity H bar. Now in NCRT, H bar is defined this equation. The defining equation of H bar is B bar by mu zero minus M bar. All these terms we have studied. So rewriting what you will get, taking M bar to the other side, H bar plus M bar is equal to B bar by mu zero. Again mu zero multiplied, you will get like B bar equal to mu zero into H plus M bar. Now comes the new equation. M bar is directly proportional to H bar. For sure. Why? When you increase the current, what is going to happen? H bar going on increasing. So, I increasing, H bar increasing. H bar increasing means what? 
m bar increasing so it is all related so we will say m bar is directly proportional to h bar the proportionality constant is known as chi c h i chi a new term known as magnetic susceptibility the term is magnetic susceptibility chi okay now substituting in this equation the colors i have chosen to avoid the confusion because i write first and then explain so you may not understand where do i substitute so the substitution goes in the color itself so i substitute for m bar m bar is substituted as chi h bar taking x bar outside you will have 1 plus chi and 1 plus chi we don't know that but earlier we know the term mu r we have studied mu zero mu r mu in the lesson 4 itself but we did understand mu r has a new term 1 plus chi 1 plus chi is known as mu r and mu zero mu r together is known by the term mu so finally we will have an equation b bar equal to mu h bar so we have to memorize at least three equations number one m bar equal to m bar h by v one equation the other one b bar equal to mu zero n i plus mu m bar and the third and final one two three four m bar equal to chi h bar and last one b bar equal to mu h bar now i told you the term chi or magnetic susceptibility with magnetic susceptibility having values small positive, they comes under the category paramagnetic. Small and negative comes under diamagnetic. So, to categorize materials like dia, para, ferro and all, the information magnetic susceptibility is very used to us. So, we have discussed four new, not three new terms and the fourth one we already studied namely m bar h bar chi and mu r so these are the terms which helps you to learn more about the properties of magnet and magnetic materials hope it is clear thank you for listening thank you